it wouldn't come out. And it might be wrong. I figured it was a couple inches long, but I figured. Two to three. And three, and they're rusted up right there about to break, right there. So you need to take that with you. You need to take this, they need replacing anyway. How many? Okay, they're ready to go. Now, hang on, back lift. Hold on, let me get by you. I'm gonna rub up again for y'all wet. Let's go. You want your morning brushing, huh? Is that what you stand here for? You want your morning brushing? She won't go out that door, will she? No, she stands right here in this door with so I brush her. This, lift this up. I wonder if this, yeah, this has got a bolt in it right here. I'll take this bolt out. To take that This off. will come off where I can, uh, I can get to all that. I'm guessing I'm losing the she shed for a little while. For a little while, I guess. I mean, I'm it's too to... hot to can. Yeah, it's too. I don't actually know if this will. You know. Piece by piece. I mean, it's loose in there, and it's probably one of the things you might end up screwing it up. All right. Everything's still greased up, you know, it's still oily and everything, so it does I don't think it's been out in the weather or anything like that. It, uh, and since you've been looking at this, this is a 1940. Yes, the guy at the place up at Meadows and told him the serial number, and he told us it was a 1940. According to the serial number. According to the serial number, it's a 1940. So, uh, over 80 years old. Yes. 80 years old. It's pretty old. So now we're going to, uh, I've never been into one of these, uh, but I'm going to go off of just what I'm looking at here because I need to get inside here and see what it looks like. So this panel's got to come this off. This panel right here has got to come off of it. So I'm going to probably take uh, this off and then I'll take these small bolts out, which there's some of them missing. I went and bought new ones so that when we Get ready to put it all back together. I got new bolts to put back in all of it. All right, let's see what's behind it. Solid wood. <laughs> okay, not rusted up bad or nothing. I'll clean it and repaint it. It looks nice. Okay, that's done. It's a good thing about square head bolts. And this boat goes all the way through. Yep.
See, this is what I wanted to look at. See the condition of those bolts? Yeah, now you see that bolt? That bolt is oily. That is a good sign. Means it's been taken care of, we hope. Means it ain't set out in the weather. And that one looks good. That one's good and oily. That's what I was looking for. Even down low, it's still no water damage on the bolts. That's, oh, that's, that's comforting to see. Nice. Looks, I mean, that almost looks new still. It is two different boards. They've been biscuited together right there. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how many years it's been since this has been apart. There could be something broke off in it somewhere I don't know about. That ain't letting it open. Like right here, they, I don't know. Well, that's like something I don't know about. Something else holding it. Can you see anything in there? Ah, might have been one screw or nail or something. No, it was just... That could be something still stuck in here that we don't, you know, it's not. The bottom's still holding. There you go. I guess when you've been there for, if you've been there for 80 years. I'm sure it's been off in 80 years. Well, here comes. The moment of truth. The moment of truth. I don't know what's behind it, but here we go. Behind door number one. Wow, what a meal. <laughs> That's a base stone. I see that. That's what they call the base. Uh, this is not the side that grinds. It's inside. No. This is not the side that grinds. All right, so you got to clean all the junk out around the, here. Yeah. Take the other side off to see. Yeah, I mean, from years of use, it just... It's just going to need cleaning. It's going to need cleaning up. All right, side two. We'll find out here in a minute. Okay, I'm gonna let this just lay over to the side. Now, a couple more of these to go. See what's on this side. Maybe one will jump out and get us. Whoa. Now there's your round stone that we were looking for. Yeah. You, we open the base stone first. This one already has a metal band in it. Oh, wow. Somebody's already redone it. Which means that's awesome. And they poured that with lead. So somebody's already maybe fabricated it, fixed it, or dressed the stone in recent years? I'm guessing. I mean, I... That was just to keep animals out, I think. Yeah, that was just to keep critters out. Uh, I'm trying to look at, see... Oh, there is two stones in there. Okay, it does have a cement back board in it, and then there's another... There is a stationary stone. I don't know if I can see in there. It's hard to see. This. I can smell what smells like oil. It's just old oil here. Oh, yeah. Smell. Now it's turning. Ooh, it won't turn now. I think it's too tight. <laughs> oh. 
Watch your fingers. So it. Good touch right there. It'll turn and it touches right, so. I do see down in the very bottom down there is a pile of trash. All down in the bottom is filled down in there. Lots of trash. So you just gotta blow it and clean it. Okay guys, we've taken this thing apart and okay I talked with a gentleman he told me that you wanted to make sure that you have a stainless uh, on these old ones like this because they get war. Uh, you want to make sure you put stainless in here and this has already been done. We didn't even have to do it. So we've taken and cleaned all of it out. Um, you know as good as we can. There's probably still, you know, there's probably still something somewhere that we missed but for the most part, it's got a little dust in it. We're going to take a rag and wrap down through there. But after going through the mill, I separated the stones way apart as far as they would go. I shined the light up in there and looked at them. The grooves that's uh, cut into the stone are still really deep. Uh, they're not real shallow and almost slick. They're good deep grooves. They feather out way out to the edges real good. Uh, the stone looks like it ain't been long since it's been dressed. I'll just be honest with you. Um, so that excites us. Now there's a couple of things we're going to have to we're going to have to do. We talked about this before. Over here, we've got to get the apparatus that hooks from here over to here, and then the the bolster that goes on here. Uh, I talked with Meadows Mill. They told me I could build this snout. It says real simple to build. And they told me how to hook it up. Uh, they yeah. they do have the parts. Yes, they have all the parts. I called them. I spoke with uh, Mr. Robert personally. And uh, they have every part that I need for this mill. To make it up, running, working perfect. From every belt to every... I mean, they have it all, right? I mean, he told me, he says... He looked and he told me, he says, I got it every bit in stock. So, uh, we'll probably be going you know, getting some parts. And guys, I'm going to tell you, there is absolutely nothing really wrong with this. Now, I was going to, I was going to just redo it all, take time, sandblast, clean, do all this kind of stuff to it. But me and Ms. Wanda were sitting and talking. And you know, we kind of both like the patina that's on it because it looks old. And what we might do is take some high gloss marine varnish and we might clean this thing up, get all the uh, old corn dust off of it, regular dust from just sitting in the shop and everything. And the wood and all on it, we might just go back and just brush a clear urethane uh, marine varnish over it just to allow it to keep that patina. And as far as the metal parts, I was going to paint them black, but you know, I don't know if I'm going to, because there's something about it that just looks antique like it is, and if I go and mess with that, it's like it it takes away from it. Now there's some things, yes, I'll do, like there's some rotted out or stripped out bolt holes up here in the top. Some of these, I'll have to be go back and fix these where I can put new bolts in it and uh, where they won't be stripped out like they were, and then I'll re-drill them and put new bolts All in. All these bolts are okay. Oh, yeah, those bolts are fantastic. But you got new bolts for the little ones. Yes, all little bolts uh, that went in this everywhere, uh, holding all this on, you know, everything. I bought brand new ones to put in it because the old ones, even though they're lag bolts, the threads had rusted some on them, and they don't have the gripping power that they used to have. So... I'm going to replace all of those. 
Uh, and, and guys, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I think it's... An 80-year-old meal? I think it's ready to... Well, it's 83 years old. Uh, I think it's going to be ready to run here as soon as I get through putting it all back together and doing a few things on it. Now, the metal hopper that's on the top of it, I am going to clean it up and I am going to paint it and put it... Because that's what I pour my corn in. I want it to look good, and I want it to be clean. Uh, but other than the rest of it, I think I'm just going to go through it, clean it up real good. I'm just going to leave it like it is because I really, I like the antique look to it. I really it looks do. awesome. It, it feels, it feels like an antique, and I want to make, yeah, you know, I don't want to make it feel like it's brand new. I don't want to take away from the, the beauty of it. Because to me, that would, it might just ruin the beauty of it if I, you know, if I take and make it look brand new again. I, it, it wouldn't. But, it by, wouldn't. but by putting a, a clear finish, that preserves our wood for many years to come. Yeah, we've done, we've done a table that was blown to my grandfather that way. And to this day, it still just looks antique uh, like it did then. Except his was a blue, and you could see all the, you can see all, all this, this, and it makes it look awesome. It does. Now, we'll take all the corn dust as much as we can out of everything, and we'll, we'll clean all It'll that It'll just up. get back. Well, if you put the clear varnish over it... We can wipe it. We can it. wipe it, or take an air chuck and blow it off, you know. And, and then I got to thinking, I said, well, if I clean all these parts up, and, and I redo it, these parts have oil in them still. When I took some of the nuts off of some of this other stuff, they're still just coated with oil, and that's why it's lasted as long as it has. It's because it's been well taken care of. Well taken care of, and all I'm gonna do is re-oil it. So, you know, I feel like why reinvent the wheel? Let's just let's let it do what it was designed to do, which is work. So right. now we put it back together and yeah, wait. Yeah, the stones are all great. Uh, that was my biggest concern was uh, the. The metal band in here they told me about. The condition of the stones. The condition of the stones is fine. Somebody's already done the metal band. I don't have to do that. That's the, to me, that's the biggest issue with the whole thing was that right there. And the it's already it, done. And then somebody's already done the work for me. The rest of it is like a facelift. And it's not really that important. So now we got to wait on the shaker and stuff. Yeah, we'll wait on the bolster and the shaker system and the rods and all that to get in. And, and the danny corn to dry. And the danny corn to dry, and I got to build the snout. Uh, Mr. Robert told me how to build it and uh, what to do, and I'll do that. And we'll be ready to rock and roll here. I mean, I'm excited now that I realize that the interior part of it is in really good shape. Because if I go and clean all this up to repaint, uh, then I got to take all the oil off of everything and all that, and then it means it's got to be re-oiled and all. It ain't worth it to me. I would rather just leave it like it is and just enjoy the antique version of this thing. So, guys, I wanted to take you all along and show you as much as I could about what it looks like and how you get into it to look at it. Now, there's a couple of things I don't understand. It, one is. When all this cornmeal builds up in the bottom down in here, you know, I, underneath it, it looks like there's a wooden plug. But if I was a betting man, I would bet you that that metal just goes over that wooden plug and there's no way to clean it out, you know. And, and then once you take the wooden plug out, I don't know... How you get it back. How you get another one back in there, because that one's going to get ruined taking it out. And then I look here at the top, there's a wooden plug right here in the same exact spot right there is a wooden plug as they are at the bottom now what purpose that serves i do not know if some of y'all uh, grist mill enthusiasts out there know what that wooden plug at the top and the bottom is for i would appreciate the information uh now, there's a few things that now on the on this the serial number the serial number uh, Mr. Mickey was thinking it was a 44. 44, and right here is a number 
40 right there and I talked to Mr. Robert up at Meadows Mills and he told me that was meant it was a year number 40. So, so it's a little bit it's older. Four years older than we thought it was. Now comes the daunting task, putting it all back together and then taking time to rework uh, the, the metal thing on the top. I'm going to sand it, clean it, paint it, and get it back in pretty decent, you know, looking shape. It's got a few little rusted spots in it I want to take care of. But other than that, the rest of it looks good. So, guys, thank you for coming along with me as I take apart the 24 inch Meadows number, year model number 40 wrist mill here at Deep South Homestead.